One of the things that I have noticed since I started on this journey is that budgeting and dieting have a lot of similarities. A lot. Like so many so that I've started to feel like, seriously, I have to be on two diets, a food diet and a financial diet? Are you kidding me? As I've alluded to in several other videos, I have recently lost quite a bit of weight and several of you have asked for a before picture. So here I am. That's the before me that you will never know. The one who I will never see again because I'm finally learning how to manage my weight without depriving myself. See, I've struggled with my weight and my finances for pretty much my whole life. And the reason I've struggled is because I truly think that I never believed that I could be successful. It's a simple concept, really. Dave says all the time, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you will. It's true in dieting and it's true in budgeting. That got me thinking about the ways that dieting and budgeting are actually similar. And I came up with seven in my life. There's probably more that I haven't figured out. The first one I actually already mentioned, and that's mindset. You have to want it enough to succeed. If you don't want it, you're never going to succeed. And you have to know that you can succeed in order to succeed. That's why I always am good at my job because I know I'm good at my job. But previously, I never thought I could live a life out of debt. I never thought I could live a healthy lifestyle. Now I truly believe those things. So mindset is probably the single most important factor in succeeding at dieting and budgeting. Off to the pool. Number two is a little bit more negative, but still quite true. No one really wants to budget or diet, but it's something that you have to do. I don't think I need to elaborate here when I say, suck it up buttercup and just do it. It's got to get done and you've got to do it. So go. I'm so getting a t-shirt that says, suck it up buttercup and I'm going to wear it while I run. The third is, if you're too restricted, when you fall off, and you will fall off, you're either gonna binge or you're gonna fall off and stay off. You can see a good example of this in my third episode, when we fell off the wagon. So I'll insert a card so you can check it out if you haven't already seen it. That was June, and June was horrible. We had one major disaster, which was followed by about a thousand little disasters. And a lot of them were self-imposed because we were kind of along the philosophy that we had already fallen off the wagon. So why not keep going? Fortunately, we didn't stay off. And when the next month rolled around, we picked ourselves up by the bootstraps and hopped back on the horse. Wait, was my analogy a wagon or a horse? Either way, we fell off. We got back on, it's all good. Number four, tracking your food and tracking your budget are both vital to your success. I mean, if you're going through your day and kind of haphazardly writing things down or kind of thinking, yeah, that's, that's probably in line with my goals, you're not gonna make the headway you need to make. So writing it down, knowing exactly what is going on is something that you have to do both with budgeting and dieting. Yeah, that might be the hardest one. Writing everything down is really hard. And that leads us into number five. You gotta have a plan. Hopefully if you're watching this channel, you're having a monthly budget meeting. And while you can't have a monthly budget meeting with your food, because who knows what they're gonna eat in food a month in advance, you do need to assess what you're going to eat and decide ahead of time what is worth it and what is not. So really number four and five 
kind of go hand in hand. You got to have a plan and you got to stick to it. Number six, you track calories like you track your banking account. When you run out of money in your banking account, you stop spending. When you run out of calories, you stop eating. But honestly, I remind myself all the time, okay, I'm out of calories, I gotta stop eating, and I don't. But it's only a day. It's only cal a few little calories. It doesn't have to ruin everything that I've tried to achieve, right? Number seven. You can't make anybody do it if they don't want to do it. I mean, you can't make your husband eat healthier if, you do, if he doesn't want to do it. He's just going to sneak off and go to Sonic and get chili cheese fries. You are in charge of your own future and you are the only one who can do it. Nobody else. Just you. So decide what's important in your life. Maybe it's getting out of debt. Maybe it's getting healthier or getting off medication. Or maybe it's all three. And then decide that you can do it. You can do it. Repeat that to yourself. You can do it. Except, well, when you repeat it to yourself, it would be like, I can do it, not you can do it. So go now, make a plan, do, go, go. So if you can think of any other ways that dieting and budgeting are similar, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Watch me go through the final phases of my weight loss and a whole process of getting us out of debt. See ya.